Hey everyone, surf, sand, sun. That's usually what we think of when we think of beaches, right? A place to roll out a beach blanket and get a tan, maybe play some water sports, surf a wave or two, and where some of the world's most popular beaches allow beachgoers to do just that. There are some beaches that look totally bizarre, though. Shards of wave-worn glass, bioluminescent microbes lighting up the water, and sands of every color. So let's begin today's video, because here are the 15 most amazing beaches on Earth. Number 15. The Beach That Glows – Maldives The Maldives boasts some pretty epic beaches, but one of its beaches is not like the others. Madhu Beach on Vadu Island is laden with little aquatic creatures called ostracod crustaceans. Now, for a long time, it was thought that this glowing beach was caused by these microbes called phytoplankton. Both phytoplankton and ostracod crustaceans have very unusual biological attributes. They can produce their own light. It's called bioluminescence, and it's the ability of a living organism to emit and or create light. Bioluminescence is a pretty rare natural phenomenon, and the light is emitted when these tiny creatures feel stress. They emit light from their cells, and pretty much anything can set them off, including the waves. The difference between the two, though, is that ostracod crustaceans glow for seconds or even minutes at a time, while phytoplankton only produce light in very short bursts, usually less than a second. So it's actually bioluminescent ostracod crustaceans that light up Modu Beach. The waters around this beach are often called the Sea of Stars, and the fairy tale esque speck of lights on Modu Beach make it one of the most amazing and surreal beaches on the planet. Number 14. The Beach of Pigs. Pig Beach, the Bahamas. Beach umbrella? Check. Sunscreen? Check. Towel? Check. And pig food? W well, welcome to Pig Beach in the Bahamas, the beautiful Bahamas where pigs run free. There really is nothing else like it on the planet. Pig Beach is located on Big Major Key. The island is uninhabited by people. There is, however, a colony of feral pigs that call the island home. Pigs swim freely and unencumbered in the sparkling clear waters, and tourists take the two-hour boat ride from Nassau to watch these pigs in action. And where Pig Island is pretty strange in its own right, even stranger still, is the fact that there's no real factual account of how the pigs got there. Some believe they were dropped off by sailors who were going to come back to cook them, but they never returned. Some believe they were survivors of a shipwreck. Some believe they swam over from another island. And some believe they were put there as a marketing scheme. In any case, these pigs are kept well-fed by people from neighboring islands, and they're all kept well-entertained by the tourists who come to see this amazing beach for themselves. Number 13. The Picture-Perfect Beach on Source de Jante, Seychelles the name of this beach is a mouthful, but the beach itself is about as picture-perfect as it gets. Ansource de Jante is one of the Seychelles' most famous attractions. With its shallow, clear, turquoise waters and brilliant golden sand, this beach has all the right ingredients for a perfect beach recipe. But in addition to all the things that make a beach perfect, Ansource de Jante is also home to surreal-looking boulders. These otherworldly boulders give the beach its telltale flair as they add a fantasy element to an already eye candy of a beach. Ansource de Jante is surrounded by coral reefs, so it's nice and shallow, which makes it a great spot for families and divers. Although the water can be too shallow at times to swim or snorkel, at high tide it becomes the perfect place to do both. Given the beach's breathtaking beauty, it's been used in a number of movies, including Crusoe and Castaway. Number 12. The Party Beach, Copacabana, Rio de Janeiro Copacabana Beach might be the most famous beach in the world, partly thanks to the famous song Copacabana, and partly thanks to the fact that this beach literally has it all. The beach boasts three miles of golden sand, a picturesque skyline of jagged mountains, and of course, stunning azure water. The Beach Boulevard, which is famous in and of itself for its geometric wave design, offers up pretty much everything you could want, from ice-cold beer to shrimp skewers to popsicles. Sunbathing, sports, sightseeing, nightclubs, dining, drinking, art galleries, sandcastles, music, shopping… there's a reason this beach is legendary. Tourists can stay in one of the many hotels that literally overlook the beach, providing unparalleled beach access to this world-renowned party hub. 
COPA, as it's commonly called, is a mecca for world championship events like soccer and volleyball. It also hosts some massive concerts and one of the biggest New Year's Eve celebrations in the world. Number 11. The Beach of Dragon Eggs Koe Koe Beach, New Zealand the giant boulders that line Koe Koe Beach in New Zealand aren't really dragon eggs, of course, although if they were, then this beach would be in a league all its own. The boulders are ancient, though, and unique. No one knows for sure where these boulders came from, but it's very probable that they formed from mudstone that hardened 65 million years ago during the Pliocene era. Over time, the waves from the sea eroded the softer parts of the stone, leaving behind these massive boulders. Many of them resemble eggs, which is where the name Dragon Egg Beach comes from. These boulders are actually called Moraki boulders, and they range in size from just over a foot to over three feet in diameter. And even more amazing is that almost all the boulders are perfectly spherical. The beach is also sometimes called the Stonehenge of New Zealand because of the mystery of these boulders. Today, there are 50 of these dragon eggs on Koe Koe Beach, and although geologists can't be sure, they think there were probably a lot more at one time. It's highly possible that people of the past took some of the boulders home with them. But if you've got dreams of snatching up one of these dragon eggs from this beach for yourself, dream again. It is highly illegal to remove these ancient boulders from the beach. It's also illegal to damage them in any way, shape, or form. Number 10. The Beach of Glass, Glass Beach, California Legend has it that the glass that makes up Glass Beach in California is actually solidified mermaid tears. Apparently, whenever a sailor died, a mermaid would cry and her tears would solidify and wash up on shore. But given the amount of glass on this beach, those mermaids must have been crying buckets. That is not, of course, really where the glass came from. So where did it come from? Well, a dump. The site was once a dump. The dump was operational from 1949 to 1967, and when it closed down, people scavenged anything and everything they could. Over time, biodegradable materials biodegraded, and all that was left was the glass. The glass was swept up into the ocean, and the waves had their way with it, and then the glass was redeposited back onto shore. Today, Glass Beach is a popular tourist destination, and although tempting, tourists are not allowed to take glass from Glass Beach because there's only so much glass, and once it's gone, Glass Beach will be no more. However, there was once a lot more glass on the beach, and sources say that a lot of people who visit the park still take a piece or two, even though it's illegal. Glass Beach is located near Fort Bragg and the beach adjacent to McCarriture State Park, and tens of thousands of people visit this amazing beach every year. Number 9. The Beach of Dreams, Blue Lagoon, Turkey The hashtag for the Blue Lagoon should be, I dream of beaches. Why? Well, because the Blue Lagoon in Turkey is the epitome of a dream beach. The beach has calm waters, even during storms, and it's located on the turquoise coast of southwestern Turkey. You can clearly see from the pictures just how drool-worthy this beach really is. Plus, this beach is unique in that it's actually at the conjunction point of the Aegean and Mediterranean seas. The water is world famous for its many hues of aquamarine and turquoise, which aerial pictures of the beach capture in all its glory. With a year-round warm temperature, the Blue Lagoon doesn't really have an off-season. For those looking for a thrill, Blue Lagoon offers some of the best paragliding in the world. And for those looking for a more of a beach-centered activity, the calm, crystal-clear waters of Blue Lagoon are perfect for snorkeling and scuba diving. There are several local diving agencies that provide courses in scuba diving, and divers revel in the underwater caves, marine life, and fauna that are found all over the Blue Lagoon. Number 8. The Beach of Penguins, Boulder Beach, Africa Yeah, you heard that right. Boulder Beach, in Africa of all places, has a plethora of penguins that grace its sands. The beach is located on the Cape Peninsula in Simonstown in the western Cape province of South Africa. Boulder Beach is part of the Table Mountain National Park, and it's a widely sought-after tourist destination because there's a colony of African penguins there. The colony settled there in 1982, and the entire colony has grown from just two breeding birds. Today, there are more than 3,000 penguins at Boulder Beach, and because the area is protected under the Cape Nature Conservation, these plucky little penguins are able to roam freely. Now, if the sight of penguins on an African beach has you a little perplexed, yeah, you're not alone. 
We often equate penguins to a little colder climates, but the penguins at Boulder Beach are a very rare breed of penguin that are only found on the coastlines of South Africa and Namibia. In fact, they are so rare that they are on the verge of extinction, which is why Boulder Beach with its 3,000 plus penguins is protected. People are allowed to visit the penguins, and the penguins have become used to the constant stream of people, so much so that they waddle their way through the town sometimes, even going so far as to waddle right into people's houses. And if you can't make your way to Africa to see the colony of penguins for yourself, you can get to know them through the Netflix documentary called Penguin Town. Penguin Town was released in 2021, and it gets up close and personal with a few of the penguins from the colony. Number 7. The Beach for Surfers The Beaches of Pichelemu, Chile The Cardinal Carroll Province of Chile boasts some of the best-known beaches in the world if you're a surfer. Located 78 miles west of San Fernando on the coast of the Pacific Ocean, Pichelemu is a resort town that's only a three-hour drive from the Andes Mountains. And while beach sand is nice and smooth, the waters here really aren't for swimming. The Peruvian Current, or the Humboldt Current, carries cold streams of water all the way from Antarctica along the coast of South America, so the water is cold. Plus, the beaches have some pretty epic waves, so it's not really safest for swimming. But surfing, on the other hand, several beaches are particularly known for their surfable waves, and they're venues for several annual international surfing competitions. Punta de Lobos has been declared a World Surf Reserve, as well as one of the 50 most thrilling surf destinations worldwide. And although some sources claim it is the best, waves can reach heights of 49 feet and the beach also has stunning cliffs and amazing rocky coves. As such, Punta de Lobos hosts the National Surfing Championship every summer, where world-renowned surfers come board in hand to tackle the radical waves. Playa Infernillo, on the other hand, or Little Hell Beach, is very rocky and less crowded than Punta de Lobos but still offers some surfing opportunities. And both Playa Las Terrazas and Playa Principal at the front of Ross Park are also very popular surfing spots. Other popular water sports on the beaches of Pichelemu are windsurfing, sailing, and kite surfing too. Number 6. The Bombed Out Beach – Hidden Beach, Mexico you won't find swarms of beachgoers at Hidden Beach in Mexico. Access to this amazing beach is limited to just 100 visitors a day, making it pretty exclusive. And if you're one of the 100 people per day granted access to this beach, then you still need to figure out the logistics of accessibility. The beach is 22 nautical miles from Puerto Vallarta on Playa del Amor Island, and the only way in or out is to swim or to paddle. There's six feet of space between the rock and the water around the beach, so you have to go under to get to it. Once inside, though, you'll be rewarded with a beautiful and unique beach experience. Hidden Beach offers soft sand and crystal clear water. The beach is hidden by a cavern-type rock that features a large hole in the top. No one's really sure how the giant hole was formed, although most sources lean towards a bomb. And Playa del Amor is part of the Marietta Islands. These islands were once testing grounds for the Mexican military, so the giant hole likely came from a test bomb. In any case, this bombed out hidden beach is pretty spectacular and just all around amazing, from its potential creation to its limited access to the fact that it's hidden by cavern walls. Number 5. The Beach of Self Made Spas, Hot Water Beach, New Zealand. People dish out big bucks to indulge in a nice hot spa, but on Hot Water Beach in New Zealand, people who want to submerge in rejuvenating hot water can swap out their wallets for a shovel. Hot Water Beach is directly above a natural hot spring. Timing is everything, though, as the hot water springs can only be accessed either two hours before low tide or two hours after it. To access it, people only have to dig a nice big hole. The hot water will then pool in the hole and voila, a little personal self-made spa is created. Sometimes people band together and dig out a really big hole and then sit in there together, enjoying the hot and relaxing spring waters. And the water is hot, like really hot. Water can reach temperatures of 147 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a lot higher than the recommending max temperature for a backyard hot tub at 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So people are advised, be careful. People had also been advised to be cautious of large breaking waves, since the hot springs are not far from the sea. Furthermore, Hot Water Beach has some very strong rip currents too, so people are advised to swim only in the marked areas. 
The beach is located about 108 miles from Auckland, and it's very popular, with about 700,000 people grazing its shoreline every year. And for those that forgot their shovels, they can be rented from nearby surf shops. Number 4. The Beach of Cockle Shells Shell Beach, Australia in lieu of grains of sand, Shell Beach offers 37 miles of crushed-up fragum cockle shells. There are literally trillions of shells on Shell Beach, and the beach itself is a bit of an anomaly. The water at Shell Beach is very high and saline. This specific part of the ocean doesn't have a lot of fresh water feeding into it, so the water has a very high salinity. It also has more evaporation than precipitation, and it has a massive seagrass bank that blocks tidal inflow. So the waters of Shell Beach have hypersalinity. The salinity levels in the water at Shell Beach is nearly twice the salinity level of the ocean. This lack of fresh water and high evaporation makes the water here really, really salty. Now, because the water is so salty, there wasn't a lot of marine life in there, and most marine life can't really thrive in waters that are that salty. Cockles, however, can. They love it salty. And because the water had very few, if any, predators, the cockles were free to reproduce unthreatened. And reproduce they did for thousands of years. These little cockles reproduced, died, and then their shells washed up on shore. Given that this beach is the result of a very specific geography and that Shell Beach is one of only two beaches of shells in the world, the beach is protected, of course. Shell Beach is located on a narrow isthmus that's found within Shark Bay on the coast of Western Australia. Shark Bay, including Shell Beach, is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 3. The Beach of Giants, Giants Causeway, Ireland On the northern coast of Northern Ireland stands more than 40,000 interlocking columns that look like stepping stones into the ocean. Giant's Causeway is located about 25 miles from Londonderry, and the stone columns that make up this amazing beach were formed around 50 to 60 million years ago, during the Pliocene era. They were formed by lava, which crept across the beach and then cooled quickly when it hit the water. And because it cooled so quickly, it broke into these unusual and distinctive shapes. These basalt columns of Giant's Causeway are a natural phenomenon, and the beach was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986. The columns vary in height and shape, with some stretching as high as 39 feet into the air. They're known for their unique hexagonal shape, with some boasting seven or eight sides, while others have four or five. The columns stretch for miles, and there are, of course, many legends surrounding this beach, and a lot of them tie in to giants, of course, hence the name. One of the more popular ones is that the beach was built by a giant named Finn McCool, who built the columns because he was trying to get to Scotland. The columns are also sometimes called Giant's Eyes by locals. Giant's Causeway attracts more than a million visitors per year on average, making it one of the most visited places in Ireland and one of the most visited beaches in the world. Number 2. Beaches of Colored Sands Various Locations Pristine white sand is the sand color of choice for beaches of paradise, but some beaches in the world boast sands of other colors. Red Sands Beach in the Galapagos Islands, for example, has some of the most vibrant red sand in the world. Red Sands Beach on the island of Rabida, and the island has no human inhabitants. It does, however, boast a wide range of other inhabitants, such as marine iguanas, mockingbirds, and pink flamingos. The color of the sand comes from a nearby volcano. This volcano once spewed fire, and there are high levels of iron in the ashes, giving the beach its iconic blood-red color. The beach can only be accessed under the guidance of a tour guide, but for most, actually visiting the Red Sands Beach is out of reach, so pictures of this amazing beach will have to suffice. That's not the case with Papakoalea Beach, though, in Hawaii, which is far more accessible. Papakoalea boasts green sand, and it's one of only four green sand beaches in the world. Like the Red Sands of Red Sands Beach, the green color of Papakoalea also comes from a volcano. A nearby volcano has a tough ring with a lot of olivine in it, and because the tough ring is still eroding, the sand is being constantly replenished with nice green olivine color. This will eventually stop, though, as the tough ring will deplete, and when it completely depletes, so will the green hue of this Papakolea beach. If you prefer pink to green, then don't worry, there's a beach for that too. Komodo Pink Sands Beach in Indonesia boasts the pinkest sand in the world. There are actually a few pink sand beaches in the world, but Komodo Pink Sands Beach is widely considered to be the most stunning. 
The pink coloring of this beach doesn't come from a volcano, though. It comes from microscopic little organisms called foraminifera. Foraminifera produce a red pigment that they spread all over the coral in the water. But as the coral breaks down, the tiny pieces of it are mixed into the sand, creating that lovely pink color. And finally, Pfeiffer Beach in California is one of the most unique beaches in the world because it boasts streaks of purple sand. The beach is located in Big Sur, and the color of the sand comes from manganese garnet rocks. The beach is lined with cliffs that are rich in these rocks, and as they erode, they surface in the sand. Furthermore, as the waves crash over the sand, the amount of purple varies and changes, so this amazing beach really never looks the same twice. Number 1. The Beach of Black Sands and Basalt Stacks, Reynesfjara, Iceland. Iceland is home to some of the most breathtaking landscapes in the world, but one look at the stunning and surreal black sand and mighty basalt stacks of Reynesfjara, and you can see why this beach tops this list of the 10 most amazing beaches. The stacks are called Reynestrangar, and they jut out from the land, adding to the overall otherworldly appearance of this amazing beach. Local legend claims that the stacks were trolls once upon a time, and these trolls were trying to pull a ship to land and they got caught out in the sea. The sun rose and turned them all to stone, and according to this legend, some people can still hear the cries and wails of the trolls when they stand near the stacks. In any case, the stacks offer a majestic background to the black sands of the beach. The beach is found on the south coast of Iceland, and it's not the only black sand beach in Iceland. On the eastern coast, you'll find Diamond Beach, a black sand beach laden with pieces of ice that wash up onto the shores from the lagoon. And on the west coast, you'll find another black sand beach. But when it comes to black sand beaches, Reynesfjara is widely considered to be the most beautiful black sand beach in the world. In fact, it was named one of the top 10 non-tropical beaches in the world by National Geographic in 1991. Like a lot of other oddly colored sand beaches in the world, the black sand comes from volcanoes. Iceland is a land of high volcanic activity, and in the past, when nearby volcanoes erupted, the lava made its way across the beach. But when the lava came in contact with the icy cold water, it cooled and solidified. Over time, this solidified lava formed tiny volcanic rocks. These little rocks were weathered down further into smaller pebbles and eventually into the sand you see today. Reynesfjara is a popular tourist destination, and it's only a two-hour drive from Iceland's capital, Reykjavik. The beach has also been featured in both Game of Thrones and Star Trek, which is fitting, giving its fantastical and sci-fi-like qualities. Reynesfjara is hardly your average beach. In fact, it breaks all the stereotypes. It's cold, the sand is black, and it's north instead of south. So really, Reynesfjara is truly amazing by every definition of the word. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.